Back to COVID now, and we're answering your questions. Let's get to infectious disease expert, Dr. Peter Hotez. First, Dr. Hotez, what do we need to know about the mu variant and how should we can be concerned about that? Well, you know, the mu variant was uh, entered around Florida for a while, and then it went down again. And right now it's a pretty minor variant. Um, that's not my biggest concern by any means. Right now, we're being overwhelmed by the Delta variant still, and that's going to be the way it's going to be for the foreseeable future. So other variants may come and go, but for right now, I think, and in, in for the next few weeks, maybe for the rest of 2021, uh, we, we have more than we can handle with Delta right now, which is so highly transmissible. And Dr. Hotez, the World Health Organization is urging countries to press pause on booster shots for now. Is that a good idea considering the cases are rising so, so rapidly here? Yeah, I think this whole, the global health equity uh, discussion needs to be reframed a bit. The problem is we need to enlarge the pie. We need to provide 6 billion doses for the world's low and middle income countries. And even if we were to use up all of our mRNA vaccine or the G7 countries for that purpose, um, it still wouldn't all be only a fraction of what's needed. So what we really need to do is to have the United States government start producing more vaccine. And, and then there's a limit to capacity for the mRNA. So we've proposed for our vaccine that's been developed at Texas Children's Hospital in Baylor. It's now being accelerated for production in India and Indonesia to have the U.S. government expand its production of that one. And, and there's no upper limit to the amount you can make. It's a low cost, durable vaccine. And, and we're having those discussions right now. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Hotez, for joining us. Always great to hear your perspective.